Hello Hamilton, welcome to the Just Ask Bob show. I'm Bob Asadorian, and it's that time again. Get up, get off the couch, and start tackling your own to-do lists around the home. Season three of the Just Ask Bob show, so fittingly, some very special thanks. Thank you to Linda Rourke, thank you to Gail Grenland, thank you to Greg Ross, and a very warm thank you to all of the Hamilton homeowners who've been receiving the show, who have sent us the emails, which is the concept, the whole basis of this show is emails. Keep pouring them in and we're gonna answer them on the show. I wanna make certain everybody understands that as a contractor, what I'm trying to convey, what I'm trying to communicate to Hamilton homeowners is, do it yourself. Honestly, do it yourself. Take it from me, you wanna cut the crooked and most often overcharging contractor out of the equation. If for some reason, whether it's safety or you just completely decide, you're not gonna do it yourself. That's also fine, but by watching this show, you're gonna be empowered with knowledge, so that if you have no choice but to hire a contractor, you're gonna know that they need a license, they need liability insurance, they need workplace safety insurance board coverage, and you'll have an idea from watching the last three seasons of this show, what's involved in home improvements, what's involved in repairs, so ultimately, you're gonna be happy with all your projects. So let's jump right into an email. A very big thanks to Brenda from Stony Creek, Ontario. Dear Bob, I have read many, many of your print columns with regards to people wasting their money on fancy upgrades to new homes, such as hardwood, granite in the kitchen, uh, numerous pot lights. While they're not really spending money on what truly counts is upgrading their home's waterproofing in the foundation. Bob, my new home's foundation has many cracks in it. I've heard that crack injection is much more affordable than excavating on the exterior, but I do have issues with tearing on new home warranty, whether they'll cover it or they won't, or Bob, will they cover the way I want it done is having the foundation excavated on the outside. Well, Brenda, thank you very much. I'll try to do my best to demystify the process for you a little bit. If you're dealing with tearing on and it's a new home warranty, you have to abide by the rules and regulations. It'll have to be injected. Now, we have on our show today an injection specialist. We'll get to that after the break. We're going to inject the foundation uh, on site, on location. We're going to show you what's involved in the process. Now, it's really important to understand that, I mean, you did hit the nail on the head. Homeowners are wasting their money on upgrades that I think are silly. Countertops, granite, hardwood flooring. They're neglecting two key items, always neglecting the foundation and they're also neglecting the roof. Those should be the two most important items in your home. So we'll take a moment to jump to show you some, uh, some items, some of, this, some of these waterproofing items. Now another quick thanks before we get there is to the Home Depot on Stone Church on Hamilton Mountain. A very special thank you. They've stayed with us, continuing into season three. A lot of the items that you see on the show, whether it's windows, doors, waterproofing items, it is donated by a sponsor to use on the show or to put our props together. Now, speaking of props and speaking of items, new for season two, we were doing Bob's Bewares, and it's very important we jump right into that. I want to show you here a drill bit, and believe me when I say as a contractor for 10 years, no two bits are created equal. The majority of bits on the market are made in China. Now, for whatever reason, I believe at least uh, lack in quality control, these bits strip out instantly. You're just throwing your money away. Spend a little bit more buy a bit that's got the flag on it. You know, it's twofold. It keeps Canadians proud and employed, and it's also a high, high quality bit. So really important, something to keep in mind, and they are very hard to find, but I can tell you, this guy, directly at the Home Depot. With season three, brand new Facebook contest, all over again, where you get a chance to have me show up in your home with a tool belt for you, get you motivated to kick you on with your to-do list. Find us on Facebook, very easy. Just type Just Ask Bob into the search. We want comments, we want suggestions, we wanna know not only what the renovation or the to-do list is, we wanna know why it's not getting done. So submit all your information. Close to the end of the season, we'll let you know who the winner is. Now, back to the foundation waterproofing. So very, very important to understand what goes on with the building code in Ontario. A little bit of politics there. Back in the late 80s, Delta wrapping the concrete poured foundation of your home, that was in the building code. 
So it was done. But mind you, this isn't waterproofing. This is water damp, uh, damp proofing. So it's not 100% waterproof. This has been removed from the code in the late 90s. So now a good way to judge your new home builder is judge him by what type of waterproofing he's doing to the foundation. And if it's not adequate or you need more, believe me when I say, spend the money on the foundation before you spend the money on the granite, on the kitchen cabinets, on the pot lights, or on the flooring. So now the ideal is your home should have some type of a wrap like this. Now if you can afford it or you want to go way overboard, remember again this isn't truly waterproofing, this is damp proofing. The other product we have is blue skin. Now again, it comes in a lot of different manufacturers, uh, a lot of different variations, but essentially this type of a skin is a membrane. This is truly waterproof. So your ideal basement protection would be the actual waterproofing membrane that's adhered on, and then you want to have the delta wrap wrapped around it. With these two systems, you won't need to have the foundation cracks injected. You'll be fine. Now, follow us in a few moments. We're going to lead you to a job site on site. We're actually going to show you a new home construction, how the foundation of the home is wrapped with this. Hello, Hamilton. We now have you on location with Just Ask Bob. We're here to talk about new home construction. As you can see, the very early stages. The pit's been excavated. We've got the foundation poured. They've started with the wrapping. There's a lot here we can show you that has to do with, unfortunately, many, many negative aspects of how your home's been put together. I'm gonna hop in the pit now. Now, obviously, don't do this at home for several reasons. One, you just shouldn't be. Secondly, your home should have backfill. Okay, now again, we've got the foundation. Forget about this for a moment. So your concrete comes all the way down, right at the very bottom, probably another foot or so below this, you've got a footing. So if your foundation is a foot wide, your footing's about two and a half to three feet wide. The footing is, think of it this way, you take a pencil, you take a pen, a sharp pen, you push it on paper, it'll poke through. You take an eraser, set it on the paper, Push the pen on the eraser, it's not gonna break through the paper. So your footing evenly distributes the weight of the foundation onto the earth. Now over here, we've got the weeping tile, and the weeping tile has a sock on it. Now this is important. Many, many older Hamilton homes, well and for some strange reason, even newer homes, they don't put the weeper below the basement window. So look around your homes, depending on how the grade works out, many homes have a steel window well around here. So once the window well is there, that's to protect the grade from coming in. So then you've got the weeping, the weeping tile in the middle, that way it can take the water away. A lot of times they either forget this or they just don't install it, and you will have issues at the bottom of the foundation. So as we're gonna be talking about on the show for crack injection, even though you've got this wrap, it's not to be considered by any means as waterproof. It's water resistant or damp proofing. Beneath this, which there's none here, but beneath this, ideally, you should have a blue skin, an actual waterproofing membrane that'll be adhered to the actual foundation because many times this can get damaged during the backfill. So a lot of these products, I mean, like the one you just seen a little while ago, they have the stamping on it for 25 or 30 year warranty. I mean, that's under ideal circumstances. You know, look at what we have here. It bangs in, the earth's pushed back in. There's a lot of reasons this can get damaged, so you should have another membrane under it. So again, everything flows down. The gravel's important because it lets the water weep through, gets into the weeping tile through the sock, and gets carried away. So again, it's very important. I can't stress often enough how, again, back in the 80s, uh, this used to be building code, so it was installed on every home. It's not in the code now. So you can judge your builder by whether they install it or not. That's a good builder. But going anywhere beyond this, such as having an actual uh, membrane glued on, that's definitely additional. This is where you should spend your money, not necessarily you know, competing with the Jones as to how many pot lights you want to have, hardwood floor, granite, this and the roof, the two most important things on your home. Now, we have a whole other two seasons but behind us, season two and season one. Triple W, JustAskBob.com, the largest database for home improvements. Visit our website, watch our shows, pause, fast forward, rewind, take it in at your own speed. 
Hello, Hamilton. Welcome back to the Just Ask Bob show, a special on new home warranty, Tarion, foundation cracks, injections, Delta wrap. Got quite a lot going in the mix today. Started with an emailer's question regarding what the best way is to properly waterproof or stop her or fix her leaks. She has cracks in the foundation. She's wanting to know if repairing it on the inside is better than doing an injection of, of urethane on the, on the inside or if excavating on the outside is better. Now in this particular case or in any case for that fact, a lot of it depends on your budget and that's determined by accessibility. If you've got concrete walkways all around the home, the driveway's done, anything can be done but for the right amount of dollars and cents. So it's gonna cost a lot of money to excavate but once you excavate, like I tell everybody, it's raining on the outside, not on the inside. So you're going to excavate down to the footing, you're going to repair, you're going to spray it, you're going to put on some blue skin, you're going to put on some Delta wrap, you'll get it nice. Now, if that's too expensive for your budget, crack injection on the inside, yes, it works, but it may take one or two different attempts to get at it. So as far as new home warranty, Tarion, Tarion will never cover the exterior method, never. Tarion will only cover, unfortunately, what's the cheap, easy way is to do it on the inside. Now, homeowners have had a multitude of disputes with Tarion. So as you know from season one and season two on the Just Ask Bob show, I'm not afraid of anyone. I call it as it is for Hamilton homeowners to understand. In my personal opinion, my belief, new home warranty, Tarion Corporation, how should I phrase this? They're a bunch of crooks, period. That's my opinion, so I want to make clear of that. That's not the opinion of the network or anybody else. Now, the reason for that is very simple. Hamilton homeowners emails. Where do you think I get my information from? Hundreds and hundreds of emails over the last few years. Tarion will find every possible reason to disqualify your warranty. That's not right. Now, on the board of directors for Tarion sit builders. Now, I don't believe that's right. The Tarion is there to protect you from your builder. You pay for the Tarion warranty. Builder doesn't pay for it. Homeowner pays for it. So the builder shouldn't be on the board. The builder should have nothing to do about it. Tarion should truly be an independent body at an arm's length that will determine who is right, homeowner or builder. So now let's take a moment to talk about things you can do as homeowners yourselves. Look at your eavesdrops. Very, very important. I tell this to people all the time when they call me in for foundation leaks or little trickles or moisture showing in the basement. If you believe water is getting in the basement, number one, make sure your eavesdrops are not stuffed with leaves or blocked. The eavesdrops need to flow properly. Water needs to go down the downspout, the downspout and then either gray drain or go through the storm combination sewer system. Now on homes where your downspout comes down and it goes through the earth, that should be disconnected. You should have some type of an extension put on to have it gray drain. So let me show you an easy one now. I love this product, Flexa Spout, available at the Home Depot. Connect it, bury it, do anything you want with it. It's a very nice unit. Now what you want to do is, obviously it stretches out. Just show you here. You can extend it to whatever length you want. Very easy to use. Angle it. So you want to attach this end to your downspout. You've got the little uh, pre-holes here, the pre-starter holes. You want to screw it in and then you want to adjust it accordingly. Now I strongly recommend with today's new subdivisions where you've got your homes four or five feet apart, I wouldn't be pointing it right at your neighbor. Bend it, that's what it's for. So that's number one. Another issue is your grading. Again, take a walk around your home, look at it. Now let's take a look at some of your home's solid surfaces. Let's start with the driveway. Under most circumstances, you better hope your driveway slopes away from your home. That is the case in most modern construction, even most older Hamilton homes. That's perfect. Walkways uh, at, the side of, at the side of the home and even the back. Patios, poured concrete. You have to have a slope going away from the home. If you don't have, there's not much you can do other than rip it out. So that's the difficulty with solid surfaces. They work great as long as they're sloped in the right direction. Now let's look at surfaces that are not solid. Uh, river rocks, flower beds, soil, various types of landscaping. These ones, the water will penetrate them. So again, they must be packed firm and it must slope away from your home. It's absolutely critical. So you'd be amazed. Walk around your home, look at the landscaping, and most importantly, look up. Look at the eavesdrops and look at the downspouts. That's the first and foremost thing you need to do. And don't make the mistake, the big, big mistake of bringing in a Hamilton waterproofing contractor and say, hey, guess what? Bring in the Bobcat. Dig all four sides of the home and rewrap it. I mean, that's a little excessive. 
You want to start with the easy things, with the affordable things, and work your way from there. Now, we're very proud. We're very pleased to have Dino here today. We're going to be taking a quick break. After the break, we're going to be on location, injecting a crack. We'll be right back after this. Hello, Hamilton. Welcome back to the Just Ask Bob show. A very special show today. Let me introduce to everybody. We've got Dino here from Advanced Basement Systems. Thank you, Dino, for coming. Nice to see you, Bob. You're very respected in this industry. Now, as for those of you just tuning into the show, we've got an email that came in from Brenda, which was the basis of the show. She has a home with many cracks in it, Dino. You know, she's got involvements with Terry on. As you can imagine, I know you're very experienced with this. All kinds of issues. Let's first and foremost get the junk out of the way, so to speak, because I get these emails coming in all the time. People will walk into the local store, and there's all kinds of products, $20, $30, different patching compounds. This one really stands in my mind. This is one that's used very often on television. Uh, for the viewers watching, I'm sure you'll remember the commercial where they take an automobile. Believe me, I'm not making this up. They spray the whole underside of the automobile, and then they drive it into the lake, and it floats like a boat. How many cans do you figure they're using? Oh, they got to be using 30, 40 gallons. <laughs> so save it if you need a boat. No, I mean, then they've got other products here. What do we got here? Patching compound. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got this one here, which is a masonry waterproofer. Then we've got another product here, hydraulic cement. Now this, I know, Dino, you know, hydraulic cement, they're supposed to be using a new construction over the, uh, what is it, the form carriage bolt holes? Over the carriage bolt holes, yes. Okay, on the outside? On the outside and inside. And inside? Yes, to okay. take care of water penetration. But if you've got a crack as we have on this job here, which is going top to bottom, yeah. would that work? No, these are, these are more Band-Aid uh, repair types, Bob, I would say. Uh, okay. We really need to do a polyurethane injection. Okay, now another basis for the email, and I hate when they put this to me direct, I seen the side with the, the method of doing it on the exterior. Homeowners are always putting this to me. Bob, what's better, injection on the inside or excavating and then rewrapping or using some type of membrane on the outside? My short, simple answer to them usually is when it's raining, it's happening on the outside, not the inside. Yep. But I mean, again, finances, economics, budget plays a role. Sometimes in these outside of the homes, you've got the concrete up both sides of the home. You've got the driveway in the front. There's really no cost effective way to excavate and open it up. Mm -hmm. Hence, then we turn to the inside method. Yes. Can and you explain to me what the, I mean, the, the way people put it to me is, mm -hmm. will it last? Will it really work? It does last. It'll last 20, 30 years. Uh, when it is a poured concrete foundation, okay. it is cost effective to inject from the inside. Okay. Okay. It, the injection penetrates the entire wall and fills the gap right through the wall. So it is 100% and it only works though in poured foundations. If oh, we have a masonry blocks, block, block blocks and a masonry foundation, we have to excavate from the outside okay. and waterproof okay. from the outside. Because many Hamilton homes, the older homes, way before foundations were being poured, everything was blocks. Yeah. So forget injection with blocks. There's no injection. And with any blocks. of these products for blocks? No. I seriously doubt it. No, I would seriously okay. doubt using any of these Save products. Save your money. Keep it in the bank, save up if you have to. Again, the ideal, if you can do it, do it on the outside. If you can't, you know, inject it on the inside. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. So okay. we're, I promise the Hamilton homeowners, they're gonna see what they would see if you were in their homes working on it. Okay, Bob. Uh, we're gonna drill holes every six to eight inches into the foundation crack okay. and fill it with polyurethane, okay? Now, first thing, when we're drilling into concrete, we must wear our eye protection. Important. Very important. Okay, and we drill holes every six to eight inches. Three to four centimeters in. Okay, Dino, you're going to keep drilling. Dino, keep drilling. We'll be right back after break. Hello, 
Hamilton. Welcome back to the Just Ask Bob show. Before the break, we're injecting the foundation on a home with a crack from top to bottom. We've got our specialist here, Dino from Advanced Basement Systems. Dino, when we last trailed off, you were drilling in. Let's go through each of the steps. Okay, Bob. Uh, we drilled holes every six to eight inches into the foundation. Okay. We cleared them out with a spray bottle of water, which acts as actually has a two-fold application. It cleans the dust out of the hole and actually helps the multi-urethane react better by adding water to it. Now, how deep was the drill, the bore itself? How we deep go did we go about three to four inches. Okay. We, we don't want to go any deeper than that. We don't want to drill right through the wall because we'd have a hell of a time trying to fill it at that point. Okay. Okay. So once we did that, we, uh, we filled the holes with some packers, plastic packers. We nailed them in tight and applied a grease nipple to it. And then we used the polyurethane with a cordless grease gun to actually fill the crack. Now the important part of filling the crack is that we get good penetration right through the wall from this side to the other side and make sure that the gap is totally filled from top to bottom. In that case, it should work perfectly Fine. Now, what are the choices in product? This is urethane. Yes, this what is a other, polyurethane. What other choices do you have? Is there not epoxy? There also is an epoxy injection method, but the epoxy injection method does not penetrate the crack. And during the winter and the rain, ice will get in and reopen the crack and it'll leak again. So, so with the epoxy would be a, a more structural, but not better for, more of a for water. Yes, yes, because okay. it doesn't actually fill the gap right through the I wall, see. whereas the polyurethane fills the entire gap. Now, as far as finishing it, I mean, many Hamilton homeowners, they would be asking, what is the finale of it? So for example, this basement's unfinished. Mm -hmm. If somebody would be doing a stud cavity, you confirm, I would assume it can be left in place? Yes, it can be left in place. It'll be hidden behind the, the stud yeah, it'll cavity. Yeah, it'll be in, inside the wall. Now, what yeah. about the case where the basement won't be finished and there's kids playing around? Okay. For safety's sake, can you simply make a cut right at the edge? Yes, yes, the, the grease fittings are actually self-sealing. So I don't recommend you pull them out, but they can be snipped off. Okay, just cut, yeah. you just saw them cut flush? Yes, flush. Okay, interesting. Now, really important for our viewers, and again, Dean, I'm not gonna hold you to the letter, or to the penny here, so to speak. Mm -hmm. What can a Hamilton homeowner expect for something like this to cost them? Just ballpark. Obviously, people can contact you directly. Your information will be up in the television yeah. screen, or they can find you through my website. But approximately, what would this cost? You know, a basic foundation crack from top to bottom, depending on the, the, the width of the crack, uh, would average probably between three to five hundred dollars, which is, is is quite reasonable compared to having the foundation dug up on the outside. Now it's very important. I'm always telling the viewers to compare apples to apples. Mm -hmm. You're licensed. You have liability insurance. You have yes, workplace sir. safe insurance board coverage. I checked you out. I wouldn't have you here. So it's important for homeowners. You make sure whoever else you're getting quotes from, as you've seen on all three of my seasons, they have to make you have to make sure your contractors got license, that they've got liability insurance and workplace safe insurance board coverage. And very important references, many, many. Now, Dino, really important. I just want to touch on one last uh, idea here. Why does this happen? You know, the big why. You told me during break, and it was just amazing. Yeah. You haven't seen a vibrator on a new home construction site for 16 years? For 16 they're, years. They're, they're, they're not business. vibrating these they're foundations. Not, they're not vibrating the concrete in the foundations on residential job sites at all. That, that's why it must crack. That's definitely one of the major reasons why it doesn't crack. Okay. I want to thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate it. It's Fantastic job. Your contact information will be up on the screen. Thank you once again, Hamilton. Really important, keep in mind, not just for this show, season three, but also two in one. Triple W, JustAskBob.com, the largest database of home improvements where you can catch these shows, pause, fast forward, rewind, take them at your own pace. Until next time, thank you, Hamilton.